What's up guys? My name's Waitin. Today we're gonna go over five of my favorite drills to do in free play that have helped me become so much better mechanically. Especially number one, it's definitely my favorite drill by far and I actually never discovered it until about a month ago. So these five drills are gonna be ranked from least important to most important, but not to say that number five isn't very important. They all help a ton and there's a reason I specifically chose these five, so keep that in mind as we go down this list. I'm gonna rank each of them on a scale of one to five in terms of usefulness and efficiency and use that to decide which drills are the best. Usefulness being how well the drill actually works at improving your mechanics and efficiency being how fast it improves them so it can be marked down if you have to take the ball to a certain area to set it up each time. But real quick, just before we start the countdown, today's video is sponsored once again by Raycon. If you don't already know about Raycon, they're basically the best deal you can get when it comes to wireless earbuds, at least in my opinion. They're just top quality up there with other premium brands and they go for only about half the price so it doesn't get much better than that. As I mentioned before, I've tried multiple types of wireless earbuds before but none of them really stood out to me because there was always something I didn't like about them, whether they were too bulky or the sound wasn't as good but I just thought that was the way wireless earbuds were. I didn't think anything bad about those brands themselves until I actually tried out Raycons and they totally impressed me because they weren't bulky like the previous ones and they sounded even better despite not being as big. They're just the perfect fit whether you're relaxing or working out or whatever it may be. Their everyday E25s, which are the ones that I have, are their best yet because they've got 6 hours of playtime on one charge and seamless pairing and more bass. If you're also interested in getting some of these, you can use the link in the description for 15% off or by going to buyraycon.com slash waitin. Alright, so for this first drill here, you're going to want to take the ball up the wall and go ahead and do a double flip reset. Nah, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> so starting it off with number 5, the first drill we have here is what I call the jungle gym drill. It's a pretty simple drill, so I'm sure there are other people out there that have also suggested drills similar to this, so I'm not claiming to be the first one to make it, but this sort of version is what I like the best. Basically, I'm just going around the field, especially on the walls, and I'm holding down boost practically the entire time. I'm trying to do as many jumps as I can though while I'm still keeping momentum, so as soon as I land on a surface, I'm immediately thinking about the next surface that I'm going to jump to, whether it be the ceiling, the ground, or another wall. It really helps me warm up my car control and practice my recoveries. You can even hold power slide if you're going to land improperly, or if you find this too easy, you can even add some random air roll into it or do wave dashes on the walls and ceilings for an extra challenge, and to make you move around even faster. I like to imagine myself as just a monkey that's going around the field swinging from vine to vine as fast as possible. But please don't bring that mentality into your solo queue games, cause uh, yeah no one likes that. I gave this drill a 3 out of 5 on usefulness cause you can only do it for so long in one sitting before it becomes redundant, and a 4 out of 5 on efficiency. Alright, down to number 4 we've got the wall bounce drill. This one is really popular especially for lower ranked players. It's extremely useful when you're climbing the ranks to know how to get huge boomer clears off ground bounces, and that's really what this drill is all about. So you start the drill by driving over to the side of the field here, and then you need to smack the ball as hard as possible by reaching max speed. If you're not at max speed when you hit it, then you won't be able to follow it up as easy, and it's hard to get the momentum going as you can see here. So after you hit it hard into the wall, you immediately drive back around and wait for the ball to bounce twice. On that second bounce, you hit it again as hard as you possibly can, and then you just repeat from there. The two most important parts about this are the timing of your hit, so you're hitting it right after it bounces while it has its upward momentum, and also the height you hit it at. If you hit it too low, then it'll be really hard to keep it going, so it forces you to hit it up high. It's surprisingly way harder than it looks, because as soon as you bang it, you have to immediately recover and drive back to hit it again just in time. And it makes it even harder if you're turning around in different directions each time to mix it up, so sometimes you're turning around to the right, and sometimes you're turning around to the left. Overall, I gave this drill a 4 out of 5 on usefulness and a 3 on efficiency because it can be pretty annoying to have to set it up again even though it only takes like 5 seconds. Moving on to number 3, we've got the air dribble setup drill. So despite its name, the air dribble setup drill isn't necessarily for the purpose of practicing air dribbles. It's mainly for getting comfortable with wall aerials in general. So a lot of players even at GC level struggle with being comfortable instantly after jumping off walls. It's an awkward situation because you're not jumping off with your car flat like you would on a normal aerial and on top of that not every wall aerial is the same. Sometimes you'll be coming from beneath the ball and sometimes you'll be going at it from the side but the thing is on every wall aerial you're basically doing the same sort of mechanics that you do on an air dribble setup and they both require the same sort of skills. 
I consider myself above average for my rank when it comes to wall aerials, and that's not because I've done a ton of training packs for them. In fact, I don't really do custom training often at all. I just practice air dribbles a lot, and the mechanics I use for those are almost exactly the same as the ones I use for wall aerials, so I'm naturally comfortable with them despite not practicing them specifically. So in free play for this drill, it's as simple as doing air dribble setups over and over again. You don't even need to carry it. As soon as you get the catch in the air, you can just reset it if you want. And the reason I included this drill in the video specifically as a free play drill is because I highly recommend not using custom training to practice air dribbles. If you don't know how to do air dribble setups, then there are plenty of great tutorials out there, and I even have one of my own, but it's like the second video on my channel, so you'll have to bear with me. And I'd give this a drill a 5 out of 5 on usefulness, but only a 3 on efficiency, because if you don't have Bacchus mod, then it takes some extra time to drive over to the wall and set it up each time. Now for number two, this is a great one. I don't have a great name for it though, so I'll just call it the Max Speed Reads Drill. How it works is you spawn wherever you do in free play, and then you immediately hold down boost and smack the ball just to the right or to the left of the goal, it doesn't matter which. Then while still holding boost, you go and follow it up and try to score it with one final hit. It's important that you hold down boost the whole time because that's the whole point of it. When you're holding down boost and you're moving that fast, you have less time to adjust your car and read it, so it forces you to read it early and commit to the spot that you think it's going. You can also make it easier or harder on yourself by adjusting the route that you take to the ball, so if you take a wider route like this, then it'll give you more time to read it, but if you want to challenge yourself as much as possible, then you'll go in more of a straight line to the ball. So if you can, try and take a less wide route to give yourself less time to react. It's definitely way harder that way because you have to commit to your read much earlier, but it's excellent practice because if you read it that early in an actual game, there's almost no way an opponent is going to beat you to it. Whereas if you take a wider route to it in game, then you'll probably be able to read it, but there's a chance you won't get to hit it at all because the opponent will just get there first. I'm a huge fan of this drill personally for those reasons, so I'd give it a 5 out of 5 for usefulness and a 4 out of 5 for efficiency, only because you only get about one read every 6 seconds or so, which is decent, but not perfect. Finally, for number 1, my favorite drill to do in free play is what I call the bounce dribble attack drill. Again, I don't have many great names for these, so feel free to comment some better names if you have them. For this drill, it's actually required that you have Bacchus mod to do it in free play. And I know, I'm sorry for you console players out there, but I do have a training pack that I'll put here in a second that simulates basically the exact same thing, so don't worry about it. If you're on PC and you don't have Bacchus mod yet, it's really simple to get. You can basically just search up Bacchus mod on Google and it's the first link, but I'll leave a full tutorial in the description anyway. So when you have Bacchus mod installed, you can go ahead and go into free play, and when you press the right arrow on your controller or the 3 button on your keyboard, it'll roll the ball toward you, and it'll roll it in a different way each time you press it. That's a big reason why I love this drill so much, it's a different variation of the same situation every single time. So you roll the ball toward you and you pop it up in the air, and the drill is as simple as doing whatever attack you want. It could be a bounce dribble play, as you see here, or you can start it out as a bounce dribble, but catch it and flick it. Or you can bounce dribble and then catch it, but drop it and then shoot it at the end. Or you can jump up to it, but fake it and drop it down to catch it and flick it. I could keep going, but it would take me like an hour to list all of the options you have in this situation. You want to practice pretty much every variation you can think of. That way you can use any variation in an actual game. I talked about it in my shooting video, but you don't want to do the same attack every time you're given possession in space. You want to mix it up a bit to where you sometimes do a bounce dribble, sometimes do a dribble and flick, sometimes a hook shot, you get the point. This is the perfect drill to practice any of those attacks, and along with it you'll notice your shot placement especially becomes better as well. A variation you can add to this drill is calling out specifically where you want to place the ball. So as I'm bounce dribbling here, I'm going to literally say top left out loud in my room to prove to myself that I'm placing the ball with intention instead of just aiming for the goal in general and then hoping that it goes to one of the corners. It's really easy to go on autopilot when you're training like this for a long time, but calling out where you're going to place it each time will keep you from doing that and help you stay focused so you can get better so much faster. So for this drill, I gave it a 5 out of 5 for usefulness and a 5 out of 5 for efficiency because it's practically the entire time you're trying to bounce dribble or flick or whatever it is. There's no setup involved, so you're using your practice time as efficiently as possible. If you're on console, here's the training pack code on screen now. It's practically exactly what you would get in free play with Bacchus mod. This is definitely my favorite drill because it's super useful and efficient and it's also fun. But anyway, that's going to be it for the video, I appreciate you sticking around, and I hope you have fun with these drills. 
I'd also love it if you subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to reach 100k subs and I'm uploading videos like these as often as possible and if you subscribe now you'll be the first one to see my new videos just like this one as soon as I upload them. Other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you later.